We run a 330-acre organic beef and sheep farm here in the heart of the Brecon Beacons. We also run a small contracting arm, working for neighbouring farms, local authorities, and we also do some schools, uh, local parks. In the last five years, we have developed a 60-bed, five-star self-catering tourism accommodation business. I think organic farming has helped us embrace the environmental schemes we're in. We're, we were the first in Wales to launch the Tier Goval scheme, the environmental scheme for Wales at the time, and we're currently in glass tier entry and advanced. This has allowed us to enhance the environment. We have invested in the business over the last seven years up to £2 million in property, which includes long-term lets, a bed and breakfast, a pub, a restaurant, uh, more recently a neighbouring family farm, um, some £300,000 on agricultural land and £150,000 on renewables. Investment plans for the future are to establish a bespoke glamping experience to complement the existing tourism business. We are currently engaging with the national parks to achieve planning permission, incorporating the very latest renewable technology uh, in, the, in the design and the fabric of the building to encourage the ecotourism brand we have established with Cray Valley Eco Lodges. We started the self-catering accommodation in 2011 where we built the two initial log homes. Um, that was the start and we very quickly could see that it was going to be a very good business. We had bookings straight away. We farm about 2,000 acres of arable. We also have a contracting business so we farm another 1,500 acres for other people. We have a pig, pig business which has um, two, about 2,000 sales based across three breeding sites and taking all the progeny through to, um, to bake and wait. The biggest challenge we've got within our business is the level of investment that's required in our indoor pig breeding and finishing enterprise. We've been investing to keep the buildings up to standard but we've now got to a point where we need to completely change the systems. And one of the, the problems that we've had over previous years is that there's been no uh, recognition that buildings are a cost to a pig enterprise. I need to do some serious thinking about how our pig enterprise is structured and that involves serious investment. The biggest obstacle we have ever had to overcome as a family is losing four houses in one day, including our own, in a massive farm fire. In some ways, the fire allowed us a blank canvas uh, after demolishing four houses, so we were able to um, look at renewables holistically. We started in about 2010 putting together a renewable energy policy for the whole business. We've several benefits from investment in the renewable energies. The number one benefit is that it provides us with a stable income for the next 20 years. Over the last uh, two years we've got family members who've started to come home to the business so I my daughter uh, came back to run the shop two years ago and our son Graham has now been back for the last five months. Uncle Henry's has been running for 10 years now um, and I came back to the business two years ago um, and obviously there was the initial investment in terms of converting derelict um, previously used agricultural buildings into the actual farm shop and cafe that you see today. Since then we've had to grow, evolve, move in directions that we perhaps didn't think we would um, in the first place. So our 40 seat cafe rapidly became 90 seats within the first couple of years and we've expanded the shop and particularly the butchery enterprise. It's really important to ensure that all of our staff are fully trained, they understand what I expect from them and they're able to deliver that and I've given them the tools and resources to do their jobs properly. We are very keen to have our children involved. They are challenging. They ask us questions that uh, we always used to do it because we've always done it like that. Um, so, but they want to know why we do it like that. Well, clearly when you've got a family business, you've got a range of opinions around the table. And it's important that you consider all those opinions. But it's important that you actually do move forward and you're proactive and that if there's disagreement around the table that you manage to overcome those disagreements and that you do carry on investing. So doing nothing is, is not an option. I think we define our business um, by being a little bit bespoke, I suspect, and um, uh, it means a lot to us really to be farming in this, uh, this rural environment with a close-knit community around us. And, and after the fire, we realise the, the power of the community, um, humbling experience and uh, realising that we're blessed to wake up every day and farm where we farm.
I like to think that we farm efficiently and that we're good at what we do and we've really got to strive to, to keep on, on top of our game. And I'd like to think we do that in a way that, that makes a difference.